Building personal resilience. High rates of stress and mental illness are potential threats to our well-being. Building resilience helps us combat these threats by the giving us the ability to adapt and bounce back from adversity. It can be learned and developed in anyone, at any stage and changes with changing circumstances. It's likely that we'll all experience workplace stress at some time, and when we do, it helps if we're aware of how it changes the way we think, act, and feel. By recognizing these indicators, we can take action to reduce the impact of stress on our lives. Sometimes we can contribute to our stress with unhelpful thinking. Seeing things in black and white, comparing our situation negatively to those around us, catastrophizing the outcomes of a situation we find ourselves in. Recognizing these unhelpful thinking patterns and adopting structure problem-solving techniques can reduce stress and increase a sense of personal control. Other simple and effective ways to reduce our stress includes techniques such as mindfulness of breath and progressing muscle relaxation activities. We can use these strategies anywhere, at any time. The more we practice and use these techniques, the more automatically they become when we are faced with challenging or stressful situations. HeartMath defines resilience as the capacity to prepare for, recover from and adapt in the face of stress, adversity or challenge. When you are resilient, not only you can bounce back after challenging situations but you also more ability to avoid getting in those situations in the first place. Now that's energy efficient. Being resilient is like having a fully charged inner battery, you can roll with the punches more easily and flow through challenges. There are four primary areas of resilience, physical, mental, spiritual, and emotional. If we have low energy in one area it can affect the others. So are you being resilient in your workplace?